Just got all my parts in from Ballistic Fabrication. There's a little shout out to them. Products are sick. And check it out. We got some some badass rod ends. These are going to be on the frame side. So I'm going to build my upper control arm. Boom. Like that. And then this piece right here is another one of these um, ball joint style. Basically a beefy heim joint that I'm going to use. They, they put these on uh, like F-350s and go right off of jumps with them so I know they're pretty damn strong. But yeah, just got all the parts in. It's gonna look sick, all color matching. Pretty cool. So basically gonna take these Got a little tube adapter right here that rolls on and off it's threads. That's going to go in there like that. And then I just got to cut my, my control arms out of there and start fabbing it up. Alright, so I got some progress for you guys on the SS Blaze project over here. Uh, just keep in mind this is all in mock-up, um, the mock-up stage right now. But uh, here's my upper control arm I started building. Uh, you got the adjustment in these if I needed to roll that out or, or in if need be. Um, got my upper ball joint uniball conversion um, and basically built a drop spindle um, to raise the wheel up instead of having to move the lower control arm that basically without the drop spindle I would have had to move the upper and lower control arm mounts uh, raise them up a good two to three inches. So yeah, with the rack and pinion right underneath the motor, I obviously couldn't do that. But um, basically, uh, started mocking up. I got my upper control arm mounts tacked in place, and then started bracing my bag plate. All kind of looks looks pretty dope. All lines up to the upper control arm mounts and then the lower control arm I'm keeping the same on the the frame side for now I might convert it over to the those same uh, pieces but for now it, it's working the way it is so I think I'm gonna keep it th that way but um here I'll throw the wheel on there put this thing together and show you the how the sucker finally goes up in there I ended up having to do a lot of clearance here uh, not too bad. Patched that pretty quick. The patch that I put on the tub work that I did before um, actually worked out pretty well. Don't have to change that. And as you can see, ended up clearancing all the way up to just about the hood. Got rid of some of that rail right there for the tire to go up in. Uh, next concern is moving. Uh, the air conditioning condenser, I believe that is. Um, gonna have to move that in and build some brackets for it. Nothing too bad. And got a little more clearance. It's gonna be cut basically to that line. I'm gonna leave a little bit of that uh, last end part. So he has some turning radius. All right. All right. Go ahead and throw this together. <laughs> 